Okay, we've made our collection on Tuffy. We now have our blood and we have our uh, makeshift uh, test tube. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this cap off and we're going to gently put our collection in here. I guess. There we go. And we're going to put the whole collection in here. A little clotting going on already. And uh, just stand it up. Put it between two uh, cans of soup or whatever. Just make sure it stands up. And then over time, the red blood cells will go down and the plasma will go up. And we'll have ourselves something to run our progesterone test kit with. So you just, not on your couch, but you know, in your cupboard somewhere, just stand it up and eventually it'll separate. And we'll come back and show you the separation once it's happened. It'll take about an hour from now, but obviously I'm not going to show you that. So all this stuff goes in the trash and then you're waiting on your test here. Okay, all you do is you take your blood, set it up in a cupboard somewhere or wherever you want to set it up. You just collected it and put it in the uh, test tube. You wait around for about an hour or so. Uh, warmer weather, it'll tend to be quicker. Colder weather, it'll tend to take a while. And as a matter of fact, I'd recommend putting on some kind of a heater or warming up the room a little bit. Uh, it just helps with the separation. So I'm not going to make you wait for an hour, but we're going to come back and show you the separation. An hour and a half has gone by now, and as you can clearly see, the plasma has separated from this core blood and the plasma on the very top of this specimen is what we're going to use to do our progesterone test as I will show you right up after this how to use the kit etc but it's the plasma on top of the red blood that we're going to use for the test so anyway let's move on to the actual progesterone test kit that you get from Camelot Farms